When you meditate, you have to also watch yourself as you meditate. In other words, you're watching the breath, but you're also watching the mind watching the breath to make sure that it stays there. And this watcher is an important part of that meditation, because you need a part of the mind that can step back from your emotions, step back from other things that are happening, and not get involved in the usual back and forth. Step back from the events of the world, step back from the events in your mind. You've got to protect that part of the mind. So you can pull yourself out of things that are unskillful. It's so easy to get involved in a thought world, and all of a sudden that becomes the entire world. Everywhere you look around you, it's colored by that thought. It's like being inside a bubble. And the bubble is tinted, so wherever you, wherever you look, say if it's tinted red, everything where you look is going to be red. Everywhere you look is going to be green or whatever, depending on the color of the bubble. Because it's, got a, it's all around you, because you're in it. Whereas if you have this sense of a separate observer, you're not in these things. You can see them come, you can see them go. You see there's a huge world outside of the bubble, and you don't have to get sucked in. So try to develop the sense of the, the separate observer. You start by just observing the mind as it stays with the breath, and you can observe the mind as it's doing other things. And that puts you in a position where you can judge what kind of thoughts are worth going with and which, which ones are not. And if something really bad comes up in the mind, it doesn't seem to want to go away. At least you can step out of it. You're not totally surrounded by it. As the Buddha said, it's when we see things as separate that we're able to get beyond them. It's this huge irony that they say the Buddha taught the oneness of everything and the non-duality of everything. He says it is possible to have non-dual states, but they're conditioned just like everything else. And actually, wisdom lies in discernment lies in seeing things as separate. Then you can see that you're in a position where you can choose what you want to go with, what you don't want to go with. That gives you some freedom. So the thoughts come up that get the mind depressed, thoughts you know, that get the mind upset. The thought can be one thing, but your observer is something else. At the very least, that puts you in a position where you don't have to suffer quite so much, and you can begin to see the way out. <laughs>